Evidence leader advocate Vasoni told the State Capture Commission of Inquiry that Figlim Balula has been served with all the affidavits from the witnesses who will implicate him. This comes after Transport Minister, the Transport Minister, issued a statement and went on a radio station claiming that he had not received all the documents pertaining to the Commission's rules. The Commission, which is investigating allegations of state capture and corruption, has turned its attention to the Passenger Rail Agency of South Africa, former Prasa board chairperson Dr. Popo Molife has told the commission that the SOE's former CEO, Lucky Montana, was uncooperative. Well, for more on this story, I'm joined in studio by my colleague Mbalentle Mtetwa. Thanks uh, very much for joining us, as always, Mbalentle. Mm -hmm. So, uh, lots of things going on, lots of moving parts, of course. Uh, Popo Molife was uh, the chairperson at Prasa, and what were the key focuses of his testimony today? Okay, essentially, he has described his relationship with then CEO Lucky Montana, who's also there on the stands, uh, listening in on all these things that are being said about him. Uh, I wonder what's going on in his mind, but it's that's not the case right now. We're talking about um, Popo, Dr. Popo Molefe's uh, testimony, who's actually said that it seemed as though uh, Montana did not want to he did not want to he didn't want to be held accountable by the board and he says that it's because he, he feels that it's probably because he wasn't consulted when this board was uh, established and appointed and that's why he felt he wasn't accountable to this particular board and he's given some examples and one of them being um, how on his first day at, uh, at work he asked uh, Montana to uh, present to do a presentation with all the contracts and future contracts that Prasa had intended to you know embark on mm. and unfortunately after um, I mean asking him on many many occasions to provide them with that presentation they were not provided with the presentation and those necessary documents which they needed in order to fulfill their very own fiduciary duties they essentially then took the initiative took it upon themselves to go to the lawyers the law firm that had uh, drafted the document and the tender documents uh, in question and however he says that he was a bit puzzled by Montana's unhappiness with the fact that that the board had gone directly to this law, law firm instead of, you know, running behind him and running after him to try and get these documents. So I suppose what you're describing to us is a disjuncture, the board not being able to properly work with uh, the management team and therefore everything else fell apart. Yes, indeed. You know, we essentially have a situation where uh, the internal, I'm just going the internal audit and risk committee at Prasa did their very own investigation and they found that the system had been broken and that it was somewhat dysfunctional and that there were no controls. Essentially, they were saying that most of, you know, the proper procedures and uh, procurement procedures as well had been broken and um, they were, I mean, Prasa would also not following some of the prescripts that are actually outlined in the PFMA. So there were no controls. It's almost as though it was, I don't know, a free for all, mm -hmm. <laughs> if I can use uh, that word. And essentially, this is also evidenced in um, Dr. Popo Malefe's evidence when he talks about a board meeting where they were looking at a particular contract and they had asked uh, then CEO like in Montana to give them an assurance and assure them that all uh, processes had been followed and unfortunately he couldn't really give them this assurance however he misled went on allegedly went on to mislead the board informing them that there is something called a pro probity report which would uh, be one of those things that would ascertain and prove that all proper procedure procedures had been followed mm -hmm. in awarding that particular contract and we hear Papa Malefe Dr. Popo Malefe essentially saying that he feels that um, Montana had misled the board so that they would go ahead and um, approve a questionable contract. Essentially, those are th those that that is the evidence of Dr. Popo Malefe so far. We understand that he's going to touch on other contracts and also talk about how they failed. I mean, they were failed by uh, institutions such as Parliament when they went to Parliament and uh, the Hawks mm. to basically make them aware of certain contracts that were awarded irregularly and they felt that I uh, should have not been awarded to the individuals that they were awarded to. He will continue though after the break. Super. Thank you so much Mbalentle for your time. My colleague there Mbalentle Mtetra.